These are my top five tips to land a job in cybersecurity with no experience. And I do think some of the points I'm covering in this video are some that I haven't seen other people talk about before, so you definitely want to stick till the end. So let's get right into it. Number one is building a home lab. So what is a cybersecurity home lab? This is essentially a setup where you have an environment to be able to practice and learn different techniques and tools that you come across while learning different topics in cybersecurity. This could be as simple or complex as you'd like, from just having one virtual machine to having a network of virtual machines, along with the hardware and software that you'll need in your labs, depending on the skills that you want to practice going into a cybersecurity specialization. Having a home lab basically gives you a chance to replicate any real world scenarios that you see online, whether it's assessing vulnerabilities, even having malware and learning reverse engineering, or just getting hands-on practice on some of the popular cybersecurity tools out there like Metasploit, Nmap, Wireshark, OSINT tools, etc. It essentially gives you that hands-on learning that you need to get into cybersecurity, as even if you don't have any previous work experience, the best substitute is having your own personal projects that you've done on a personal lab so that you can experiment with different cybersecurity tools and apply theoretical knowledge that you learn in real world scenarios. So if you're currently learning foundational cybersecurity concepts and knowledge, personally, I think that's only 50% of getting to that first cybersecurity role as a beginner. And the other half of that is that hands-on technical experience that you can get by building a personal lab. And if you're just starting out, even just a simple virtual machine on your laptop or desktop would be enough to start getting some hands-on practice without needing to spend too much on external resources. Having a home lab helps foster continuous learning and also proves to employers that you're able to be a self-starter in terms of the technical projects that you're working on as well as the fact that you're able and willing to pick up new skills along the way as this is something that you're already currently doing in your personal time on your side projects. This can also give you a backdrop to simulate real world scenarios so you're able to learn from them and understand what kinds of alerting and logging may be available for you to take advantage of if this were to be a real world scenario in an organization. Next up I highly recommend this and it is to join a cybersecurity community including security conferences and local B-sides. B-sides are security conferences that aren't as mainstream or popular as larger security conferences, which are considered A-sides, but they do specifically focus on cybersecurity topics and essentially give cybersecurity professionals an alternative platform for discussions, sharing exploits, presentations, any interesting things that they've seen in their field of work, and networking within a local cybersecurity community. Now, some B-sides do have online events, but there are local B-sides that have various different events throughout the year. These are typically community-driven, grassroots, and very much for the local cybersecurity community. Community, which also makes it a perfect place to be able to network with people who are nearby and also in the field of cybersecurity. And personally, I think this is an even more effective way of being able to network outside of a larger conference like DEF CON. DEF CON is one of the most well-known cybersecurity conferences held annually in Las Vegas, and no, it is not canceled. DEF CON and other security conferences like Black Hat, RSA Conference, and ShmooCon focus on topics like hacking, cybersecurity research, hardware and software vulnerabilities, and lots of other presentations and hands-on workshops that you can do in many of these conferences. Personally, I think the cybersecurity community is definitely one of the most close-knit ones that I've seen and there's so much information sharing that I really think you can learn so much just by attending one of these conferences, whether it be a B-side or a mainstream security conference like Black Hat or DEF CON. And of course, not to mention, it's a great place to network because there's so many people that you can learn from and workshops that tend to be hands-on where you're working directly with the presenter as well as others around you who may have similar interests and goals as you in cybersecurity. Next up is to make sure that you're learning relevant cybersecurity skills and you you can do this easily and effectively with cybersecurity courses on Udemy, who's sponsoring today's video. So if you haven't heard of Udemy, it is a very popular online learning platform that hosts a huge number of cybersecurity courses. And these are the top five that I recommend for cybersecurity beginners who may be just getting started in their careers and are looking for some guidance on what skills to focus on to help land a job. First up is the Complete Cybersecurity Course by Nathan House. This is one of the most popular cybersecurity courses on Udemy, and you'll be learning everything from how to prevent cybersecurity attacks, the skills needed to become a cybersecurity specialist, as well as learning IT security. The course covers dark nets, dark markets, zero day vulnerabilities, malware, phishing, and exploit kits. In total, it is a 12 hour course. And during the course, you'll also be able to set up your own virtual test environment, which also goes back to my first point about setting up a personal lab, which is going to be one of the building blocks to getting that hands-on experience as a cybersecurity beginner. Next up is the 2023 Beginner's Guide to Cybersecurity. This is especially good for those of you who may have no foundational knowledge in cybersecurity. You're coming in as a fresh start and you're really trying to learn the basic concepts of what goes into a cybersecurity program, what does it take to defend an organization against cybersecurity attacks, and what are the latest threats out there in the threat landscape. You'll cover foundational topics like the CIA triad, different types of threats like brute force attacks and DDoS, what are the types of cybersecurity jobs, learning the foundations for cybersecurity certifications like the CompTIA Security Plus and the CH certification, as well as cryptography and governance. Next up is the complete course on social engineering, phishing, OSINT, and malware. 
where you'll be learning how hackers hack into Windows, Linux, and Android devices using social engineering and also how to protect yourself from similar phishing attacks. You'll learn essential social engineering techniques, how to use open source intelligence tools, how to create undetectable malware using MSF Venom, Empire Project, and other tools, as well as programming languages like Python and C++. The fourth course I recommend is the Ultimate Dark Web Anonymity Privacy and Security course, where you'll dive deeper into how the darknet works, as well as how to access and use it privately and securely. This is a 10 hour long course that teaches you everything you need to know about darknet search engines, how to use a VPN with Tor, how to set up and use end-to-end -end encryption, how to securely handle malicious files, as well as using other darknet services in a secure and private way. And last but not least is the Udemy CompTIA Security Plus Complete Course and Exam Training. This will cover everything that you need to know to study and pass your CompTIA Security Plus certification. This is likely the most popular certification for entry-level cybersecurity professionals. It is also the certification that I studied for when I was about a year into my career and it has really made a huge impact in terms of the cybersecurity roles that I can apply for in my early career. The course itself has more than 21 hours of on-demand video and 90 plus hands-on exercises. After the course, you'll be able to pass your CompTIA Security Plus certification, perform basic security configurations, and become a more effective cybersecurity professional in a real-world environment. And as I mentioned earlier, most of Udemy's courses are very affordable and are a great place to start if you're a beginner in cybersecurity and are trying to get some hands-on skills and hands-on practice with most of the courses I covered in this video around $100 or less per course, which really is significantly lower than other courses that I've seen. You can check out all of the Udemy courses that I mentioned in this video linked in my description below. Udemy also provides a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk at all to try out any of their courses. Thank you to Udemy for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to the rest of the topics. Next up is completing a capture the flag with a team. So I'm sure those of you who may be interested in offensive security have done hack the box, try hack me challenges, and various other similar challenges, maybe even some reversing challenges. On the offensive security side of things, capture the flags are very popular and essentially they're a timed set of challenges that you complete either solo or with a team depending on the CTF and you can find more information about what CTFs are currently ongoing on CTF time. There are lots of cybersecurity discord channels out there that are created specifically for capture the flag events. And I highly recommend getting involved in one of those communities so that you're able to complete a capture the flag with a team. Of course, there's also an option to do this alone, but I do think that working with a team in cybersecurity is really 95% of the job as a cybersecurity professional, whether you're just working with your team members or across collaboratively across different projects and initiatives. And it really will give you that hands-on experience on how to work with teammates in a real world world cybersecurity team if you were to join a red team or an ethical hacking team it also allows you to learn from your teammates skills and techniques that you may not have previously known before and of course it's also a great way to network as well as of course get mentorship or become a mentor for someone who is also interested in offensive security i really do think that it's a different experience doing a ctf with a team compared to doing a solo if you haven't already i highly recommend adding this to your list for the next half of the flag that you want to do next up is finding a mentor so i probably hinted at this already but in my career i've had so many mentors who been there to walk me through different hacking challenges, different scenarios at work, encouraging me to learn a new skill set or going into a different area in cybersecurity. Personally, I do think that my mentors have really shaped my career in the past four years that I've been working as a cybersecurity analyst. And I highly recommend looking for one. Even when I was a student, I had mentors that I could rely on and ask questions to that I felt comfortable talking to that I also think gave me a huge advantage when I started looking for jobs as an entry-level cybersecurity professional. And I've already mentioned a few of the places that you can find mentors in this video whether it's through B-sides, security conferences, completing a capture the flag, or of course, just through various different online cybersecurity groups, whether it's on Discord, Twitter, Reddit, or even LinkedIn. The cybersecurity community is huge, and I really think that it will be to your benefit if you're able to find a mentor in an area of cybersecurity that you're interested in. Because honestly, after you've done the training, after you've learned the foundational skills, after you've done everything right to get ready for your first entry-level cybersecurity role, the next thing you have to do is really get someone who's already been there, done that, who can help answer your questions and provide guidance on what your next steps to take are. Especially if you're recently graduated from a bootcamp or a student or are trying to make a pivot into cybersecurity without any previous experience. And last but not least is to get certified. Cybersecurity puts a huge emphasis on certifications and they may be even more important than having an actual degree in cybersecurity depending on the company and the sector that you're going into. For example, I know a lot of big tech companies no longer have that degree requirement and are more so focusing on their experience, other credentials, their personal projects, certifications, so when it comes to starting your career in cybersecurity, you'll find that entry-level cybersecurity roles will already want you to have some preferred qualification, which typically comes in the form of a certification. The most popular ones are probably the CompTIA Security Plus, which we've mentioned already in this video. I've also 
also made a video on how I passed my CompTIA Security Plus certification earlier in my career, and I'll link that video down in my description below. Personally, I was also someone who didn't come from a cybersecurity background. I actually come from an IT background. So studying for and passing my Security Plus certification exam was really what set those foundations for my entire cybersecurity career. Previously, I had no idea what an encryption algorithm was. I didn't know the types of malware. And studying for an entry-level certification like that can really give you that core cybersecurity knowledge if you also didn't come from a cybersecurity background like me. Plus, it'll also help you stand out to employers and make it a lot easier for you to land a job when you're in the job market for an entry-level cybersecurity role. All right, so that is it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to check out my top five cybersecurity courses on Udemy linked in my description below that will really give you the hands-on experience to learn the skill sets you need to get an entry-level role in cybersecurity. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications if it was helpful to you. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!